I told him that is from my guy that that is taking those drugs. He was like, it's not true. Like, am I sure what I'm saying? I told him yes. That is my guy that is taking those drugs. That is when he now told me that the drug is for HIV patient. He now told me to go and run some tests. Immediately, I went and run some tests. Lo and behold. Hello, people. It's your boy, Skid Lock Comedy, aka the next governor. Um, today, again, we don't touch, we can't do that. We must do best. Um, today, matter, he gets as he take no one be. Today, matter, he chop belly full, like overfeeding the worry this very issue. This matter, wear sneakers at the same time wearing boots on top of rapper, con no tie, use gale, finish up, con carry eyeglass way they out of shape where hey omo now to tell you how serious this very issue is this matter now this sister here and she bring this matter to my table when i went through her email i said people get mine as in people are mean a lot of things is happening in this world that we are in. But see, I make you no be like saying me the tell on this story. I would like us to go and meet this sister here so that she will narrate this story to you guys exactly the same way she emailed it to me that made me to invite her down to this place. But before them fans, if you want to reach out to me, if you want to contact me, the one and only way you can get through to me is by my email. My number is not on social media. Please note this and treat as important. Skit Lord Comedy will never DM you first. I will never call or email you first for any reason at all. Never I will not. So if anybody should do that to you, I beg you, be mind for a video call. This video call is just for you to be sure you are talking to the right person before you start transacting whatsoever business you want to transact with this said person in the name of Skit Lord Comedy. Why I'm saying this is because Skit Lord Comedy will never be held responsible for anybody with this yes i will not be held responsible please do not allow yourself to be used and don't fall a victim let him who has ears hear what i just said as he continue to throw skit lord comedy to stop dated as you continue to be a royal and faithful fan may god bless you now and always Amen. Now, may we dive into the matter. We bring us come here this beautiful afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, can you speak out? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, how are you doing? I'm not fine. All right. Um, I quite understand you so well because you stated that in your email. So, sister, it is because of the gravity of the story you emailed to me that is making me hide your identity. So I wouldn't want to know your name and I wouldn't want to know the name of anybody that is involved in this very issue you brought to my table. But at the same time, I would want you to tell us this story once again. The reason why I said us is that behind you there is camera, we are recording this program and the world is watching. With me here is my seer, who by grace of God, he sees secret and deep things, and he also knows when someone is telling lies. So I will appreciate if you narrate this your story to them once again, more especially to my seer, so that he will look into it to know the advice and solution he has to give to you concerning this Thing you said that is happening around you so please speak out as you tell us this your story thank you okay um it all started during covid19 period i met this guy 
online on social media okay. so we got there we started getting along you understand we were chatting always he's always on my dm okay. chatting okay so as times goes on even without seeing him he was always there for me taking care of me because he asked me out though we have not seen each other okay. face to face but we used to video chat video call you know okay. always okay so after the covid 19 and i went to visit he now invited me over which i went to visit him because we have actually get to know each other through that um online okay. we are into each other actually and i like him too okay. so that was the reason why i went to visit him and okay. i see him as my boyfriend that we are dating okay. so when I went to visit the guy, he was actually living fine. He's okay, very cute guy. Okay. So after some time, though, so when I was with him, I noticed that there is this drug he normally took each time he comes back from work. Okay. If I ask him about the drug, why he always took drug each time he comes back? Sometimes before, like if it is on weekend, because he normally stays at home weekend. Okay. In the morning, he took that same drugs. I'll be like, ah, you always took these drugs. What is actually wrong with you? This one, every now and then, you are taking drugs. He told me that the drugs is for body pains, that he do have body pains because of the stress. The nature of his work? Yes, because of the stress okay. at work. Okay. Uh, I didn't bother because I trusted so much. Okay. And besides, he's looking so healthy okay. so my mind didn't i didn't have any negative thinking okay. so but all the time he used to take the drug i overlook it i even told him that he's not abusing taking and um, pains this pain relief Maybe. drug that okay. he's not abusing it so I noticed that for some time he stopped taking it. Okay. Maybe I don't know. Maybe if you want to take it, you won't take it when I, I where I am. Okay. So I thought that maybe he has heard to the advice that I gave to okay. him. Okay. Years passed. We are still dating. Okay. We have not known each other, which I introduced him to my parents. My parents also knew him okay. because he promised to marry me. We are no longer, it's not a hide sick game. Okay. He's open. That was why he has to go and see my parents, introduce himself. He was even giving um, the marriage list. Okay. We, you know, we always give, he has already have the marriage list, but- okay, Like he told your parents he wants to marry you and they gave him the marriage list. Yes. Okay. So we started trying and we are we started preparing for the how to go um to go along with the marriage list, how to meet the things they asked him to bring. Mm. But before then I started feeling sick. Okay. Each time uh when the sickness starts, I told him because there is nothing I I do I used you to tell him and I used to tell him everything. Yeah. I told you that I'm not too feeling well these days. I don't know what is wrong with me. I went to the chemist to take as in self medication. I maybe I'll feel like it's malaria as usual. Okay. But after taking the drugs I got from the pharmacy, it's not working. So he now tell me that okay, that he will prescribe some drugs for me that I will be taking. Okay. Which he did. I went to the pharmacy and got those drugs. I started taking it. But from time to time, if it seems as if that um, I'm getting better, before you know it, uh, inside of me, I was still feeling sick. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that I'm not actually okay. okay. And, but I used to tell him, uh, is it not better that I went to, uh, I should go to the hospital mm -hmm. and run some tests to actually know what is wrong with mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. He would tell me, no, that there's no need for that, that he has a, a family, a doctor, that okay. he has his personal doctor that used to prescribe those drugs okay. that he used to send okay. to me to go and buy okay. from the pharmacy. Okay. So I didn't bother. I used to heed to his he hard advice. So, but the thing started getting so serious that it, I don't know what else to do. He now invited me down to his place. 
So I then went for VC to visiting. He said that I should come over so that he will know what to do so about, about it, okay. about the sickness, since he's now getting serious. Okay. So I was with him. He used to buy several drugs for me. Whenever he's coming back from work, he gets some drugs. And if those ones finish, we still have to get another one. But still, I'm not still feeling okay. okay. Then one day at his place, okay. uh, those drugs that he used to take, okay. I was searching in his cupboard, you know, doing some arrangements, his clothes. Okay. And I saw the drugs. I was like, I've not seen this kind. What kind of drugs is this? And the, the drugs are many there. Okay. So I said, I get so curious. Ah, what kind of drugs? What kind of drug abuse is this that my my what fiance yeah. is taking as if that is something else? So I now snapped those drugs and sent to my doctor friend. Okay. Yeah, I sent it to my doctor friend. We started chatting. When I sent, I sent it to him on WhatsApp. So he started asking me where and how do I did I get those drugs. Okay. I told him that it's from my guy that, that is taking those drugs. He was like, it's not true. Like, am I sure what I'm saying? I told him, yes, that is my guy that is taking those drugs. That is when he now told me that the drug is for HIV patients. Hey, uh, we like <laughs> hey, we like when I hear that, that was when the doctor told her that the drugs this guy has been taking are meant for HIV patients. Okay, no problem. Let's hear her story to the end before we will say what we we'll have to say. Ne, calm down. Eh? Just put yourself together. So, the doctor said that those drugs are meant for HIV patients and what else? I couldn't believe it. I was like, it's not possible. Like, how? I couldn't believe that the, that the drug is for HIV patients. He now told me to go and run some tests. Immediately, I went and run some tests. Lo and behold, it was true. I was also infected with HIV. Okay. The hospital confirmed that I'm HIV positive okay i was shattered so later in the evening i got home he came back from work i comforted him and it was a big fight between okay. he and yeah. me okay. we have a big fight that day i couldn't believe because my world was shattered he now told me that he He's so sorry that the reason why he didn't tell me is because that I'm going to leave him. Okay. That actual, that really, really that he loves me and he wants to marry me. That even though I'm HIV positive, just like him, that he's also willing to go ahead with the marriage. Okay. I couldn't believe my ears. Like, so just to hold you down, he transmitted as in he infected you with this disease okay yes okay. just to hold me down so that i will be in the same class with, class him. with him so okay. that to marry each other okay. i couldn't believe like i don't even know what to do i was so shattered okay. the next morning i left i left his house okay. i went back to my base okay. still deep in thought i don't i don't know what to do and my parents were expecting us in some weeks' time to come and perform the marriage, the right. marriage right. Okay. I told my mom that I cannot continue with the marriage with the guy. Okay. He was so pissed off and hungry, thinking that maybe his spiritual husband that is disturbing me. I don't know how to tell them that this is what I'm passing through. Okay. My mother did everything, advising me. I, I couldn't even, as in, I don't even know what to say to them. Okay. And the guy in question now is also telling my parents to beg me that he's also willing to come and to continue with the marriage rights. But okay. me, I don't even know if to continue with the marriage 
or to just stay i don't even know i, I can't even imagine myself HIV positive like how how am i going to how am i going to continue so and the thing is making me so depressed now that i don't know if to go ahead with the marriage or just stay and be treating myself i'm so so confused and depressed like i just feel like committing suicide i don't just know what to do i don't know if to tell my parents because if i tell my mom about this he's going to fall sick he will, mm. she will fall sick so i don't just know if to tell my parents or just continue with the marriage or just stay and if i didn't get married now my mom like my mom now is thinking that i'm suffering from spiritual husband or something is going on with me spiritually but they did not know now that it's not all about it it's because of the guy that is coming to marry me okay no problem i heard what you just said people you guys have heard her story like um it is very much touching like so touching like like people can be this deceiving or better still deceitful just imagine what the young man did to this young lady someone she met on social media but no problem without wasting anybody's time i want to bring sia into this very issue let's hear what sia has to say consigning what is happening but like seriously I feel so sorry for this young lady here. Like I feel I I can imagine. I'm just imagining what she will be going through. But sister, I must tell you, suicide is not an option. Yes. It is not an option. You have to just exclude that one from your mind. Exclude it from your thought entirely. So people Let's bring Sia into this issue and hear what Sia has to say. Sia, I can't go and Because what I can't go and ask, and I hear Mary Oji Bieba, but Maka Aro na ye ye ne me nandoya. What's in no way? What I can't go kia ni ye ne me oni. What's the kind of fuzzy? Yabo what I can't go kia na social media. Mbaha. Iye ndo ibo na bo COVID ne me. Asirende mada hapo tani ilo. No yobu na naona bia. Osi no mbwa anko omu atanya yabu wanta kiri woki. Ha na apa na social media. Na apa na ekwenti. Kaya bihe na aga. Hei boa. Ana awota uwe ho fumo fuma. Isi eba anu uwe bido fuwa uwe hanaya. Osi makayabu COVID ne me mbwa anu. No hafu unho uwe ha. We room we have COVID because in the middle we do one year long. Man, at first we are here, half of us we have naya and kuku, half of us. And we met here, we have one takiri woke. We see here, we be na ebe obi. Or we zopo open jam. We go be be, we have one takiri woke. B. Osi kulu eba. We have one takiri woke. No zikuwa fuma. Oji ego mama ma woke. Bidi kwa ofuma. Mano si no we. Ogu nyabu mwa takiri woke na da angu. Kwa mbwe kwa mbwe. Oji kwa ya ke ye bun. Ya bo woke. Ya bo ogu na alu. O si eno ogu alu mbu. Buru na ya we uri iho obu no bi. Bu iho ojo obu no bi. Oga owa. Echo wa. Ka ocho puta ihe ya bo ogu na alu. Iho ogu adibi ya bo mwa takiri woke bo. No oge iwe tu nata haka na yabon ogun ona anu. No ona emebi zi yabon ogwe emebi. Nke ndo ibo na abon abuse of drugs. O si nye meche kwe yabon wata kwoke. Wwe yoko se ngu zi yabon ogun. Owe chado na yabon wata kwoke anolo. Ndu modun odro ya. No maro na yabon wata kiri woke na abon ona gide. Ono gide no gide. Ogoro goro gana kwa gany mwa yabon ogun. O si nye yabon ya bihe. 
nemen ko ho no chokwara ebe awe na ba odigi de haibido haibazie amarizie na ha na ai o si na otutu afu agago o ebe a chopta wa na alu na aye o ebe we wa alu oku opoku oga na ebe na ile ogu gago to ogu we nwo we che no ye nka na akpo typhoid and malaria no ya bi na aye ona etich ko ya bi ye ma no si na mbaru abido ya we na ogu kwa ya bu nwa takiri woke na owo ri ihe ona ezuru ya bu nwa takiri woke mancha mancha ya kwa takiri woke a we na agwaka si ogu oga na egote o si ya bu nwa takiri woke ka oga nu na ogu ga na ole nwa takiri woke si e ya hapu wan ka ha na owe e ye woke bu doctor bu ye na agwaka si ogu oga na egote ma na anwo no ya be ye woke bi ye na agwe ogu aha ona esendere ya watakire wa ya we rubere ya isi na emi ihe ona agwe ma no se na ya bu ye bi aka waru njo owo ya bu watakire woke owo esi e nwa ya biwa ebe ono ya bu watakire nwa e we zopo oku njem we gaba ebe ya bu watakire woke no o si na e ba hoko oga ona egute ko ogu na eyi ona an ona egute ogu na eyi ona an onwe ru ofu mbose ona eduzu no onwe fu ya bu ogu ya bu watakiri woke na an o si na o kan ko owe weru ekwenti ewe se ya foto we se ndi elu ofe ye wo doctor ya bu ihe doctor we ni se ya we se ke ebo o si we fu ya bu ogu ko ye na an ye o se na o watakiri woke chore enu ya maka na o si na ya bu watakiri woke si na o ga anu ya na o bia go kwenu fu ndi be ha ane ye go kwenu ya list gbasaru ihe eje anu wa ye na be ha ya bu doctor we egbu ya na ihe abo ogun ndi bu obiri na ya ocha bu nke ndo ibu na akpo h a v we si egba po oso ya ga ne ule nu na ogun what are they why? Waiting on one on one, where Balga won og. Koga ne abune Nezioku Nezioku, or where Bruna Ubuyabu, or ya Ubirina yocha. O where Nata? Where we meet, I want a cream woke away to wear. O Sinon Bank, I want a cream woke me peron where we wear. No fully an iron cuckoo. Near me no warrior. No bu ya bo ya bo no ma no gwe no ga happy no ya miru ju we oji happy gwe we bu ye ya bo ya we ku kwase ya na ezu ku na ezu ku no choro enia abo ye no bu ya bo ya no choro enia ya bo wata kire wan after ka hanu chara ogu bacha mba no nia obula bia na ba o si na ke mbo ah no na echi echi che na gaba gaba adrozi mma na wa na ba adrozi mma na mmia na echekwa nka ya na ya bu watakiri uke we bia ze bia mezu ihe akwere na nkwa na ha na abi me mana ya bu watakiri wa na agwazi ndi be ha na ochoro ozi nu ya bu watakiri uke he we chero na odi mmiri na eye nsugu na omara ko ga isime ponu gwa ndi be ha na eku ihe mere oje achoro ozi nu ya bu watakiri uke na omara ka ha ga isi wero ya bi ihe na wuri ike igwa mmia mmia adakpo na oya na kan kozo ya bu nwa takiri woke na akpo kwa nu ndi be ha we na ayo ha ka ayo ba ya bu nwa takiri wanyi ko kwete ka ayo we nu wan o ya me ya bu nwa takiri wanyi isi ni isi juri ya nwa mari hiho geme no ya me roju we isi tela ayo zi ko hobya godi ko malo ndu modu ayo we li iki iye bo ye li ha ane men no ya me roju bie ba anu bosin keta no malo ko ya gani ru nwa ya bu nwa takiri woke ko ya na olu uwe gbo uwe o ya o si na otutu mbe na ona emi igbu uwe igbu uwe nwe se ya puta ago de ba na nka ha isoro na ya bi ihe nwe si gbi ko dodo ne ba go daya na ya bu oku ke ma godiri ndu modu na ye maka iwe ike iye ru watakiri nwa ya ebe ono kita ekene kwa ngi nka oku Okay, see, I want to say something. See, I be called Ganiru, Guam, eh, Chori, Kuna, I be here, and I'm against it.
I no see go me if you go. Okay. Man, uh, if he may be rock one. See, I said he has heard what I said, but nothing, everything is still in order. See, I'm listening to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my name is Yoku. I'm Okay. 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 See, I said, truly, what this young man did was not good. Yes, that what he did is not good at all. That, yes, you love this young girl and you want to marry her. That what he would have done is to let this lady know the situation that he is in to know if the lady will buy the idea will agree to go ahead to marry him as in to go on with the relationship or the marriage but he didn't do that he went ahead to infect this girl with the disease that that is where he got it all wrong what he did was absolutely not good. See, I'm again to you. Um, my no, no, do I know? A meko can you matter and do you boo? A mena called him fe na maduna bo gunya boya ganu dina munye a mota quasia one ne bulonya boya. Okay, see, I said, but thank God that the the medically. They have made it possible that two people who are living with this sickness can go ahead, eh? that they can go ahead and marry each other, give birth to a child that will not be infected with same sickness. See, I'm again to you. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, but I'm going to be fine. Gibutin subu. Mhm. Mm Mobu meka rike nia. Mhm. Mm Dizi o de dia nya. Mhm. Mm Omaro nsubu adiro. Mogwaro mado. Mogwaro mado. Mhm. Mm Mwaka abuzi ye de lunya na nyabu ngota mwoke. Ebi ngota mwoka afuli ya na nya. Mhm. Mm Tokwa ze nia. Mhm. Mm Nengono mwia fukwa ze nyabu ngota mwoke na nya. Mhm. Mm Mwale ifozo. Na hap gabani ilu. Nuo mwefa. Mani ifefa gemebu na haye je. Nebenda arwike. No, mama ka nyabi ye ka kwa ha uzo ni usoro isi ye je nyabi ije geme korapo ime ndifagamu kabulu okay. nyabu oya oh, yeah. oh, ok si ya said that the advice he has for you is that hmm? that if going to tell your parents this thing will result to your mother falling sick or having bp or whatsoever that he will tell you to keep this thing as a secret between you and this your husband to be that since this young man loves you and wants to marry you and you love him too that all he will tell you is to go ahead with the marriage right go ahead and marry this young man then you people have to go to a medical facility that specialize in this very issue yeah? so that they will give you people advice and guidelines on how to go about this very issue so that when you people start giving birth to children they will not be affected that right now it doesn't matter if you tell your parents or you did not tell them that you can just Team up with your husband to be, eh? And go and see this medical expert that specialize in this very kind of sickness. He said that that's the advice he has to give to you. This young man loves you. He loves him, and truly he wants to marry you. He said that you should go ahead with the marriage. See, I'm a new here, new. Um, yeah, go, go. Mhm. 
ili jurafo. Okay. Nezi oku, mm-hmm. okolo kwa nobelo oku. Mm-hmm. Mana, odigo kwa yade. Okay. Manifei mebiro, ife kademwa. Okay. Oh, fame, kansi we oku. Okay. Makana yera po nyabu mwata mwoki. Onyobu na makwane eno no, ono dua. Mm-hmm. Ayala yukwe noge. Izo kwe nyezo, obulo fi yang, nyabu mwata mwoki me. Biyona choke me. Nyabu. Nkwe koleta, biye dine titi yana abu. Okay. Okay. See, I said that you people should go and do as he said. That if you say that you're not going to marry this young man now, that nobody will get my will marry you, knowing fully well that you are living with such sickness. And if you decide to hide it and marry someone else, that means the person is going to get infected as well making it the same thing this guy did to you that you want to do to another person which won't be good hmm? but you people should just team up together and go ahead with the marriage right and do exactly what he said you should do he said that is all he has to say you heard him right yes so please put yourself together this is not the end of the road yes i know what the young man did was absolutely wrong it is not good but this is not the end of the road for you sister you can still live like 100 years knowing fully well you are you have this as long as you are taking your medication just as that young man is taking it like you told you say he looks healthy he looks healthy that's because he takes this drug as at when due so please don't get yourself worked up i can just imagine how you feel i know it's painful but just put yourself together and go ahead with this marriage people you guys have heard her story and you probably have heard what here have to say concerning it so without wasting anybody's time i want you to go to the comment section tell me what you feel concerning this very issue if you are in this girl's shoe, what will you do? And what is your advice to her? So please, as you are commenting, comment respectfully. And don't forget to like and share after watching. Above all, subscribe to stay updated. As you continue to follow Skid Lord Comedy to stay updated, as you continue to be a royal and faithful fan, may God bless you now and always. Amen. Now, I don't watch this program and I enjoy them. You learned something from it. Please, I want you to share this video. Make it go viral for the world to watch and learn. Yes, people need to watch and learn from this very issue, from her mistake. Yes, she did a mistake. The reason why I say she did a mistake is that when you start, when you want to start a relationship with somebody and you know that you cannot always play safe or you cannot abstain from knocking, all you people need to do is to go to the hospital and check yourself, examine yourself from A to Z to make sure that you guys are free. And time with that number, you go and check again because some partners are not always faithful. That's where she got it all wrong. So please, before you start any relationship with anybody, always go for a text make sure that you guys are okay so please as you are sharing this video do not forget that we live in a cold world where best friend by best friend where loved ones by loved ones where those you trust so much betrays you we live in a cold world where it is better to dine and wine with the enemy than to keep yourself to that bosom friend who will end up to buy you tomorrow because now who no man now him they buy man even the bible says it please do not misunderstood me and do not misquote me Rather, click on the share button right now, share this video as many times as you can, and as you do so,